It was a slower than usual drive in Waterloo Region and with good reason this morning because there was some light snow falling. Hopefully you weren't one of the people caught in some of these uh, backups or fender benders and the rain moves in. The rain's coming in from a system south of us and there's going to be at times moderate to heavy rain. There is some concern about localized flooding. We want to keep pets and children away from especially culverts and bridges and waterways in general. But this is going to be a pretty vigorous low pressure system coming through and at times we'll see totals exceeding 15 millimeters especially along the lower lakes region. So something that we need to be mindful of. We have a lot of snow pack on the ground in these regions and with temperatures rising as they are expected to which I'm going to show you in terms of the uh, forecast. Saturday's high is 5. Now earlier in the week we had thought it probably would go to 10 but we're gradually seeing the models trending at a little bit lower. Still 5 degrees is warm enough to obviously see some snow melt. Zero for Sunday, 5 degrees on Monday with a few scattered showers. It is Friday and every Friday we have our top 5 videos. Right now the most days below 0 degrees. Have a look. Well, then the temperatures will rise and there is a slight flood risk as the temperatures go well above zero on Saturday and with that there will be rainfall, moderate and heavy rain at times and this could result in some localized flooding. Some of the uh, conservation authorities are issuing some statements about it, not necessarily saying it's a flood warning but saying that we ought to keep our pets and their children away from waterways across southern Ontario as the temperatures rise. Now earlier in the week at the height of those massive snow squalls we were suspecting that some of these areas were getting just pounded with snow. Obviously now we've got the evidence. Uh, getting out the snowmobiles to get around in some cases the snow totals are so high. Snow on the ground, well there's a lot of it obviously in those regions, so uh, Sobble Beach, Port Elgin in this region. Even across southern Ontario and around Toronto and down toward Windsor there's a quite a decent amount of snow. And to the north where you'd expect there to be a decent snowpack, that is the case. Snowmobiling, skiing, uh, snowboarding, some of these uh, ski resorts down toward Georgian Bay, all loving the snow. And if you're out today, I think that for the most part you can be comfortable of weather. Now I think that in terms of staying on track with the clothing, uh, we're going to have to get out rain boots because we have a fairly sizable low pressure system coming in, but this is a rain maker. The temperatures are on the rise, so we'll see fog developing across southern Ontario, at times very dense fog that could reduce visibilities. In terms of rainfall totals, between 15 and 25 millimeters including Ottawa, Montreal, Toronto, down toward Niagara and even just down toward uh, say Chatham, back into Sault Ste. Marie, not as much as say Elliott Lake or Sudbury, so quite a bit of rain on the way and there could be some impact with regard to flooding. Toronto, Saturday mild, Sunday cools down a bit but back into the 5 degree range by the time we get to Monday. Florida or bust? Well, it's almost bust. Coming up, no sunshine in the Sunshine State.